You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> Welcome back to Automation. You thought I forgot about this game. No, no. I, I was doing a little bit of reading on the internet and I came across this. Yeah, that's a real thing. Genuinely not Photoshop. And fun fact, that Ferrari 360 limo edition is the world's fastest limo. It can do like 180-ish miles an hour. This Ferrari... All of, like, the the stretch of it is made out of handmade carbon fiber. And it costs 400,000 bucks. Anyways, I think I can do better than that today. So let's head off into automation, the car designer. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna build today. I now have another car suggestion for FH5 after seeing the limo. Take a look at these things. Our 1970s limo. That is what we're gonna be building today. If we're gonna be building the world's fastest limo, well, we need to do the same thing that Ferrari did. Carbon fiber construction. Oh, this is gonna be a very expensive vehicle. After that, we obviously want lightness and we're gonna get that from a semi space frame construction made out of aluminum. And then where do we want the engine to be? Pro probably in the middle. I mean, I imagine that Ferrari engine's still in the middle. We need to build ourselves a brand new engine here. What is it gonna be? I can have a V16 powered limo. No goddamn way. Wait, wait, wait. I can have a 22 liter V16 powered limo. Why do I do these things to myself? We're gonna make it out of billet steel, lightweight titanium, lightweight forged pistons. This is gonna be a speed machine. Are we seriously gonna twin turbo this thing as well? That is a beautiful work of art. Literally, if you ask me, that is better looking than the Mona Lisa. We had to downscale a little bit. We're only an 18 liter V16 now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, just from clicking random buttons and stuff, I have a- oh, Why am I in Newton meters and kilowatts? 1,900 horsepower? Are you kidding me? I haven't even done any tuning. This is gonna be a 3,000 horsepower limo. What an absolute death trap this is. Yo, it only revs to 7,300 RPM, but I have 3,200 horsepower? Are you kidding me? And we didn't explode. Let's go. I'm happy with that thing. That is a sick engine for our limo. I love the look of this vehicle. It looks so, so sick. Let's do a little bit of body morphing on this guy to maybe make him even more aerodynamic. Oh, oh, oh. Wide body limo. Okay, things I didn't expect to say today, but sure. O also, things I didn't expect to see today. Um, yeah. Let's get some wide body in the rear as well. That's awesome. Get a nice fat bumper on the back so I can crash into people. Then I can get a sick light bar along the, bra uh, along the back, actually. I kind of like the idea of a white limo. I feel like that could be cool. We've got the red for the blood of the Ferrari after we beat its top speed. We've got the white and the black from classic limos. I kind of like that. Anyways, now is our favorite time to, uh, Ruin this vehicle. Let's see what options we've got. And right away, I'm looking at these guys. Do I want pop-up headlights on my limo? Is it bad that I really like these right off the bat? Yo, I love how they're red as well. That's so cool. It's not often that the first option that I pick is the one that I like, but that's worked out really, really nicely. We need a rear light bar back here. Like all modern cars have light bars like this now. I don't know. It's kind of like side. Cyberpunk. Yeah, exactly. Let's go with this guy on the rear. I like that option as well. Indicators. I, I don't need any of those. Off to the front grill. As we've got a big V16 engine, we need a big grill. So as much air as possible can come in. Okay, now it definitely looks like a frog. What about an Aston Martin grill? Oh, yeah, that, that, that one's gonna be a no as well. You know, I could go with something like this. 
because that's not technically a smile. I really like this. This will be called the SpongeBob Square Limo. All good race cars have big vents. I think we need to be the same. I kind of like the idea of this double vent back there. That's actually really cool as well. I haven't ruined it yet. I say yet because now I'm about to ru ruin it. I need an engine sticking out of the hood. Twitch chat brings up a good point. What if I make two of these and actually mirror them? Dual engines for the limo. I think we have made this. We, we've we essentially made a twin mill here. The twin mill's fast, so I, I guess we're going in the right direction. You know what we need on this vehicle? I need a roof scoop. This is going to keep our passengers nice and cool as they travel down the highway at breakneck speed. Oh, you know what we need as well? We need a big old skylight. How could I forget about this? We're a limo. We're a luxury car business. Now is the time for some downforce. So I need a rear diffuser and a front lip. So I think something like this, I, I, I tend to toss these on a lot of my vehicles because they're, they're quite subtle, but they do provide some very needed downforce. Let's go for a front lip as well. Again, nothing crazy, nothing over the top, but just that little thing will keep me grounded way better. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just found a way better diffuser. Yeet that old one. Look at this guy. Look how sick this thing looks. I, I genuinely don't know what type of rear wing I want to go for on this. That's the thing. There's, there's so many options. What do we think about a rear wing like this, but instead we paint it half red and half white? How sick is that? I also spotted in that rear wing category. See, what if I go for these? You might say it looks a bit silly, but these will actually give me way more downforce. Some will argue that the driver won't be able to see where he's going with the, the mix of the dual engines and the fins and, and the pop-up headlights. And the things I haven't even put on this vehicle yet. There we go. Number plate installed beautifully. I definitely need some fat exhaust pipes coming out the rear. Let's get mirror them. We have quad exhaust pipes. Those are not big enough. Uh, don't ask what I'm doing. I think we've now reached the portion of the video where I'm ruining my limo. I have 10 exhaust pipes. Oh yeah. I think we're ready to go with this. This vehicle looks fantastic. Now that we've done the design portion of this vehicle, and I think we can all agree, I nailed it. I need to actually make it drive. So I'm gonna go all wheel drive with a dual clutch. This is gonna be a speedy boy. Let's go six gears with a theoretical top speed of 280 miles an hour. We also need some good grippy tires on this thing. Let's go. So I've got semi slicks in the front and the rear, both of which are maximum size 295 and 305. I'm now a McLaren speed tail. It's a bit janky. Don't look at it too closely because you'll notice a lot of fault. We'll get some carbon ceramic brakes in the front and the rear. Maximum size, please, for that maximum stopping power and make them a race car. You know, again, I, I didn't come out with the intention of building that, but not bad. I'm going to keep it slammed, though, for the ultimate speed. Oh, the car has strong oversteer, significantly reducing drivability. Off to beam NG drive we go. He doesn't sound so bad, actually. Do we think it's the world's fastest limo, though? That is the question. The Ferrari was able to go 180 miles an hour. Let's see if I can beat that in pure, just insane top speed. So come on. We've got our traction control on 200. My yeah, I... yeah, yeah, guys, we beat we beat the Ferrari. That was 290 miles an hour. I think that makes us not only the fastest limo in the world. Are we the fastest car in the world right now? <laughs> My God, this is so cool. I've I've made a drift limo. So it's the world's fastest limo. It's the world's fastest car. And it can also compete in Formula Drift. Uh-oh. And that concludes the drifting portion of the video. One drag racy boy versus Bob.
There, go, 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 limp. He's gone. He's gone. We destroyed him. Don't go into his lane. Oh my god. Oh, I got disqualified. I did an 8.2 second quarter mile in a limb. Okay. Don't do all the janky stuff. And I, I want to see what we can actually get. And away we go. Go, go, go. Limo versus limo. Keep it straight. Looking good. No. Yes. 7.9. <laughs> Let's go! What a death trap, though. I want to see what happens if I put Bob slash Sid straight into a wall. That is so fast. That is actually insane. My diffuser fell off. Oh. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. The diffuser falls off at around 250 miles an hour or so. We just gotta watch out for that. It could fall off at any second. It's okay for right- There it goes! It's gone! I have no control. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one to explain. Yep, there it goes. 280 miles an hour. The diffu- I'm on fire again. You're probably wondering how I got here. 